I'm going to start with my paper vertical and fold in half. Do a really nice crease, whoops, in the middle. And then I'm going to fold it over again. Make sure your creases are really pressed. Open it back up. Fold one side into the middle. And press that down really hard. Fold the other side into the middle. Use your muscle, press down hard onto the table. Once you have this, you're gonna kind of pull this over and open and flatten down. You'll see a little roof forming right here on one side, and you'll do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of force it over, try to keep a nice point at the top, and then go ahead and press down. From here, there's a million possibilities. This could be drawn on, and each of these could be a little room. This can stand up and be made dimensional in this way. This could be the front, this could be a side of the house, this could be a back of the house. There's several ways you can do this. I'm gonna do it one more time with this rainbow paper again folding in half from the top to the bottom and then folding across like a book this is a little thicker so you want to make sure you're really creasing crisp corners i'm going to open it i'm going to take one side and fold it into the middle flatten that back out Take the other side, fold it into the middle. Flatten that back out. Open this and pull this side over to your middle and mush down. What a cute little roof. Same thing on the other side. Open this line is gonna come over to the middle. And press. So there's lots of spaces for drawing and folding and playing around with how these can open and go different ways for you. Here's another one that I made with wallpaper and you can see how they stand up. They're really fun. Or you can press them down and have your house that way. And one more. So this is also wallpaper, but I went and added some more of my own marks to it with metallic markers. 